Hey teachers, on this episode of the Teacher Podcast, we're talking about how special education teachers are not teaching assistants, they are masters of generalization, individualization, and how they are masters of identifying diverse learning styles and the need to collaborate with class teachers in the classroom. Stay tuned. Hello amazing teachers, welcome to another episode of the Teacher Podcast where we talk about everything learning support for children with additional needs. I am your host, Farouk Hassan. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, please tap on the subscribe button so you get notified anytime we drop new episodes. Uh, today is a beautiful midweek morning and I am sure you're all looking forward to the weekend. I, I In fact, I get it. I'm having a crazy week as well, so <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, that being said, thank you for all the energy you've been putting in for your students. I see you, I appreciate you, and I am super proud of you. Uh, talking about my week, I got a not so good feedback from a team member on Monday. Uh, apparently, she is having communication gaps with a class teacher that is another IEP team member in her school. And this is putting a serious strain on the intervention she's providing. Uh, she's frustrated. In fact, I am frustrated and <laughs> you can get it all. We, we, are, we are all frustrated, but definitely we are, we are on it. I gave her some recommendations and I will definitely share these recommendations with you towards the end of the episode. So you have to stick around. And yes, boys and girls, this brings us to the topic of the day. A topic that often sparks confusion and sometimes even a lot of frustration the role of special education teachers are they simply teaching assistants or is there something more to the story of being a special education teacher well buckle up uh, this is going to be very bumpy let's be honest the terms special education and teaching assistant are often used interchangeably but here's the truth they couldn't be further apart special education teachers are highly skilled professionals yes equipped with specialized knowledge training and strategies to support students with diverse learning needs they are not there to simply provide one-on-one -on -one assistance they are creators they are co-creators of inclusive learning environments i mean think about it Special education teachers understand differentiated instruction. They understand individualization. They understand generalization. They understand ABA, CBT. They understand brain gym, like the back of their hand. They are experts in identifying and addressing specific learning challenges. They understand how to craft individualized educational plans and collaborating with families and other professionals. In fact, Special education teachers are not assistants, they are partners in learning. So why is it important for general education teachers to see them as such? Because I'll tell you this, collaboration is the magic ingredient in creating truly inclusive classrooms. When general education teachers and special education teachers work together, they can leverage each other's strengths and expertise to create a richer, more supportive learning experience for all their students with additional needs. Let's imagine this, a general education teacher struggling to engage a student with dyslexia. A special education teacher steps in, offering um, differentiated instruction strategies and assistive technology tools for them to learn better. And suddenly, out of the blues, the student's eyes light up and they, they understand better as a result of the collaboration between these two teachers. That is the power of co-teaching. That is what we talk about when we say collaboration. 
that's what happens when both educators share the responsibility for planning delivering and assessing instructions that they provide to their students with additional needs but again yes collaboration isn't just about individual students it's more of creating a classroom culture that celebrates diversity that embraces different learning styles and also promote a sense of belonging for everyone in that classroom when general education and special education teachers work together they send this very powerful message to all of their students they tell their students every student matters in this classroom every voice is heard every learner deserves to be successful in this classroom and again i know collaboration doesn't always happen organically it takes a lot of communication it takes a lot of trust and a willingness to learn from each other as a general education teacher and a special education teacher but the benefits of these is very undeniable improved student outcomes reduces teacher stress the teacher stress reduces drastically and a more positive learning environment is created for everyone in that class because everyone understands that i have two great and amazing people that are working together to make sure that i achieve the best so instead of the miscommunication gaps that always happens between general education teachers and special education teachers why don't we start a dialogue get to know each other as colleagues understand our expertise explore the co-teaching opportunities that provides itself in our classroom we can share our own challenges talk to each other get to understand what aspect of this co-teaching uh, process limits us what can we do to help each other Let's celebrate the success that we achieve in our classrooms together. We can do much more when we collaborate to ensure that our students are achieving the best. And remember that we are all on the same team and we're working towards the same goal and which is to create a classroom where all of our students are thriving. And we can only do this when we understand our responsibilities, we understand what each other is meant to do in the classroom and we can only do this when we are collaborating in our classroom and not when one person is trying to impede on the other person's duty or responsibility or withholding information or is not willing to step in and assist the other person so we need to collaborate as general education teachers and special education teachers because at the end of the day the goal we are all looking out for, the goal we want to achieve as educators for our students with additional needs is to make sure that they are progressing independently. And if we don't do this together as co-teachers, as collaborators, we will fail in doing that. I also want you to know that this episode is just a starting point. This is not where we'll stop in talking about collaboration. I'm going to be bringing in a lot of uh, special education teachers and general education teachers that have successfully carried out co-teaching in their classroom yes the beginning of the co-teaching process is going to be tasking it's going to be challenging but at the end of the day there's always the point where you all meet and that can only happen when you communicate with each other so this journey towards true collaboration is a continuous process filled with learning and learning and a lot of growth and again remember that the power to hold this collaboration is immense and it's something that if we don't do it committedly our students will fail and that will also mean that we are not doing our best as teachers so i want you to recognize each other's strengths because by so doing it you will reveal possibilities for your students and create a truly inclusive learning experience that will definitely last Okay, so back to the recommendation I gave my team member. So apparently the class teacher does not agree with some goals in the student's IEP. And of course, that's because she, that's the class teacher was not available during the IEP design phase. So because she was not available during the design phase, it's causing a lot of issues in what needs to be implemented in the IEP. 
and that's what happens if you as a as an iep team member you're not part of the design phase during uh, the iep development you won't know what came about a particular goal because you don't have even if you have the evaluation report beforehand if you're not there when everyone is designing this iep uh, the iep itself you won't know what to what what is meant to be done so we all need to be part of the IEP design phase, the class teacher, the special education teacher, the parent, uh, the school administrator, every professional that is needed in the um, implementation of the child's goal. We all need to be there. So now for this, my team member, the, the issue now is that the class teacher not being part of the IEP design phase is impeding on what needs to be implemented in the classroom. So my recommendation for her was to call for another IEP review with the IEP team and to ensure that she communicates this with the class teacher. That way the class teacher can raise her observations and of course, if needed, the amendments or the observations that she raised can be made in the IEP of the child. I also told her to emphasize that the child's parent needs to be there during the IEP review because the, the parent's take is also very important in this IP review and the observations that the class teacher will be given needs to be heard by the parents as well because that's the only way that everyone is carried along and that's the only way collaboration can also happen. So that's that's what I gave her. That's what I gave her as a recommendation. And for me, this is a win-win situation for everyone. And I'm sure you all agree with me. All right, teachers, that's it for today's episode of the Teacher Podcast. I want you to share your thoughts on collaboration with me. Have you experienced successful co-teaching models before? What challenges have you faced? Uh, remember, you can leave a voice message with me. Uh, the link to doing this is just down in the description below. I would love to hear from you. All right. Talk to you soon. To your success and that of your students. Bye.